Tesla is acquiring more land near their gigafactory in Texas. Here is what I think they are planning on doing with that additional land. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to the channel. We're your new subscribers. Great to have you here. Welcome back, everyone else. And thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate what you do. So Tesla has just acquired more land near their factory in Austin, Texas. And here's a bit more news as well that you may or may not be aware of. Reportedly, Tesla has already set up 4680 battery production lines in the factory. So yes, they're planning on manufacturing batteries there very soon. Now, it appears that Tesla is getting more land for projects around the Gigafactory in Texas, but I think there's a certain reason for the land. As per recent filings to the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, plans seem to be underway to construct an 11 million US dollar 220 square foot warehouse just across the Colorado River, close to Tesla's massive electric vehicle plant. The filing indicated that the land is owned by Horse Ranch LLC, an entity that has been linked to Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Horse Ranch LLC has been in the process of acquiring hundreds of acres worth of land near Gigafactory, Texas. Interestingly enough, Jared Birchall, who sits on the board of the Musk Foundation and who manages Musk's family office, has been listed as the manager of Horse Ranch LLC. According to the recent filings, the 11 million US dollar, 220,000 square foot warehouse will start construction on June the 1st, 2022 with a target completion date of June 1st, 2023. In other words, it's planning to take 12 months to build it. Considering that such filings are often preliminary, however, there's a good chance, say Tesla Rati, that the project will still see changes over the course of the factory's build out. Now, apparently Tesla has been working on a project called Project Bobcat. Tesla Rati claims that that project is for the cathode manufacturing, but actually I believe Project Bobcat is Project Cathode renamed. It's where they're going to produce the cathode materials for the existing and future 4680 lines that are already on site in the factory. Now, apparently Project Bobcat is on the eastern part of the site where the structural steel is currently being stored. Structural steel, by the way, will be for the Cybertruck and for other projects. Now, many people apparently are actually wondering about another site. Apparently, Tesla has acquired 2,000 acres about 50 miles away, apparently south of the factory that seemed to have been bought by Tesla or Elon Musk. It's near Martindale and near the toll road SH-130 that runs by the Gigafactory in Austin. Now, apparently that is Tesla's lithium mine where they will wash lithium out of sand. So you can see here, Tesla's trying to actually line up all the dots in order to have the production line, every part of the process covered off so they don't have to rely on outside contractors. Well, so they can make as much of the vehicle as vertically integrated as possible, makes sense. Now, my prediction actually is that Tesla, even though this factory, the Gigafactory Texas, is one of the biggest buildings on the face of the planet, I believe they will plan on expanding production to 1 million and then to 2 million vehicles. It makes total sense. They've done the same thing in Shanghai recently. They decided they're planning on expanding production from 1 million to 2 million over the next year or so. And really, I mean, if you're going to have all this, you're going to have a mine there, you're going to have cathode production, a battery production. It makes more sense to build more vehicles here at the same factory rather than try and build them somewhere else in some other, some other state. Just means it's more efficient. So my prediction is that Tesla by the end of this year will have announced something like, oh, by the way, we're actually going to double our production at the factory by, say, 2024. That's what I think they're going to do. Obviously, the reason I think this is because Tesla are saying they want to build 20 million EVs per year by 2030. How do you get to that number? Well, do you just build millions of factories all over, all over the place or do you try and optimize production, increase production at your current locations where you already have resources, supplies, staff, everything else that you need? I think it makes sense that they would do it here. Now, what this actual factory is for, well, we don't know. We do know some important information, which is, of course, they have 4680 battery cell production lines in the factory right now. And number two, they're building the cathodes in that factory, apparently right now as well. So 
That is all the news I have for you so far, but let me know in the comment section below if you know anything else about what's going on there. Do you, do you work at the factory there? Do you have some info informa inside information? Hit me up, send me an email, send me a message on Facebook, wherever it is. Now, details about Project Cathode apparently are slim. Speculation suggests that the initiative involves the construction of the cathodes, which will be the, for the 4680 battery cells, of course, makes sense. Now, apparently similar facilities are planned for Tesla's other factories, including Giga Berlin and Gigafactory Shanghai. Now, if you're not already aware, the Gigafactory in Tesla in Texas is currently the headquarters for Tesla. Now, Tesla has mentioned that it is looking to build several of its key vehicles in Texas, from the best-selling Model Y to the Cybertruck, and speculation suggests that the Model 3 and perhaps the Tesla Semi may be produced in Texas as well. Horse Ranch LLC's recent filing for its 11 million US dollar, 220,000 square foot warehouse can be seen here in the video. Now I have a new video just coming out soon, which talks about Tesla's production expansion and how that in combination with surging oil prices, which will come partly from the war in Ukraine, will lead to the stock price, I believe, doubling this year. That's my prediction. I honestly think it's undervalued right now, pretty significantly undervalued. And we're going to see a big gain from Tesla this year. But that's just my opinion. Check out the video if you'd like. I'll put a link in the description. Have a great day and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.